Hey everyone, I'm Tara Melton from Magnet Forensics. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Axiom Cyber in an intellectual property theft investigation. Axiom Cyber allows for remote collection of data from workstations within your enterprise. I have Axiom Cyber open and I've already deployed the agent from Axiom Process and connected to the remote system that I want to investigate. We have another video tutorial of going through the entire remote acquisition process to include deploying the agent and connecting to the remote workstation. So if you'd like to see what that looks like, I encourage you to check that out as well. In an IP theft investigation, you might want to use the remote acquisition capability to peruse the user's device and see if any files of interest that may have been exfilled are on that device. As I mentioned, I'm already connected to the user's workstation. And as I'm looking through the file system structure, I can peruse to the user's folder. And it looks like there might be a personal Dropbox account set up, which is typically not allowed in many organizations. Going into this folder, we can see that there is a potential document of interest that probably should not be in that user's personal Dropbox account, which could indicate that this might be how the IP data is being exfilled. If we needed to grab just that document, we could by selecting this checkbox next to it. Or if we wanted to remotely acquire the entire, entire system, we could do that as well by switching up to this option here and checking that box next to the drive. Now I'm going to switch over to Axiom Examine. I have a case open with that user's workstation that was acquired from Axiom Cyber. I've also acquired the, off, the Office 365 account of that user as well. I'm going to look at the documents artifact to see if I can get an idea of the life of the file of interest. I have it identified here, and you can see that we see that in multiple locations across the evidence sources. If I wanted to see chronologically when and how this item moved around between evidence sources, I can also view this file in the Timeline Explorer. I'm going to switch over to the Timeline view here. And you can see, uh, after I did a search for that file name, we can see that it looks like the do document was emailed between users. Scrolling down, um, the off audit logs from the Office 365 account show that the document was downloaded from the cloud. And then we can finally see other artifacts like a link file and a jump list that show the document in the user's Dropbox account. So you can see that Axiom Cyber can help with many types of investigations. In this case, we looked at an IP theft examination and were able to identify a document in question on the suspect's workstation and investigate the life of that file on multiple evidence sources from within the organization. We hope you check out Axiom Cyber today. Thanks for watching.